And now it's time for another edition of What Would Jello Do? In his acceptance speech to the Democratic Convention, not only did Barack star Obama not bother to offer any coattails to tell people to go out and elect better officials in Congress and state legislatures and in their towns and cities and school boards and things like that, like he should have, there were some other chilling things in that speech, too. One of the main ones was promising 600,000 new jobs in the natural gas industry. Where are they going to come from unless, of course, the Obama administration is in bed with the gas and oil companies hell-bent on fracking? Fracking is short for hydraulic fracturing, a newer technique they use to get gas bubbles out of shale rock a mile or more below ground. They didn't think they could get it before, but now when you drill way down, and then you drill across, and then you put in about a million gallons of water and benzene and special kinds of silica and sand, and shake the whole thing up like a big earthquake, which sometimes causes them above ground, too, in Ohio, then presto, suddenly we have all the natural gas we could ever want. We can be the Saudi Arabia of natural gas. Oh, we don't have to worry about imported oil or anything if everything runs on nice, clean, natural gas. There's all these ads just flooding TV now about the urgency of natural gas. We have to drill now clean coal, this, that, and the other. This rock could power the world. Just one example. Well, Maybe it could, but one of the reasons they are so hell-bent on getting as many fracking wells going and irreversibly under the ground as quickly as possible is because it's starting to come out in spite of an almost total blackout in corporate McNews that fracked natural gas may be even dirtier than coal in the end because a lot of that million gallons of water comes right back out again, and then you've got benzene, radium, and uh, strontium, and other things that not even sewage plants can handle. A million gallons or more, which they've sucked out of people's water tables, what do you do? You just dump it in the river, like maybe even the Monongahela River in Pennsylvania, maybe even around Three Mile Island, so it's more radioactive now than it was after than it was during the nuclear accident. And then what happens to people's farms when they're saying, oh, we are not monsters, we're just going to drill a little well on your property. The next thing you know, you turn on the faucet and you smell all kinds of horrible fumes. You can set your water on fire. It might be very shades of brown, contain brine shrimp. The farm animals start to die. The kids start to get asthma. Suddenly, that beautiful rural Pennsylvania farm or the spread in Wyoming or wherever or in Colorado that you thought you were going to retire on might as well be a super fun site over and over and over again. There's what? Close to a million of these wells now with plans for many, many more after yet another little law snuck through at the behest of Dick Cheney called the Halliburton loophole that says drilling for natural gas is exempt from air and clean water laws. That's something that a Democratic Congress, if we get one, should be pushed to repeal. And what is it, 28 states have now got fracking going on, some even in California where there are no laws addressing fracking at all. None. In Pennsylvania, they were a little worried about that, but luckily they got themselves a Tea Party governor, and because people weren't paying attention to the local elections, Tea Party State Senate, Tea Party State House of Representatives, passed through laws saying that if people want to drill for natural gas, no city zoning laws or local land use laws can apply anymore. They want to drill in your yard? Fine. They want to drill in the schoolhouse? Fine. And their way of getting people to sign over the rights on their farm is saying, hey, we're just going to drill on the farm next to you, and it's going to go under you anyway, so you might as well take the money and let us pollute your land and everything. This is going to become a bigger and bigger issue and source of anger. If the Keystone XL pipeline wasn't enough, how about half a million to a million more of them all over the country? You know, not, not only 
does ever, after a while, can you sometimes have so much methane gas coming out that if you even light a cigarette in your own home, it could blow up like a meth lab. But then there's the sound of the drill, 24 hours a day, every day, like somebody put a jackhammer next to you in bed. There's got to be a better way, such as trying to wean ourselves off of oil and natural gas in the first place and not waste so much and put the money we want to put into fracking wells into winterizing people's buildings and things like that instead. There's got to be a better way. This is not going to work and it is not a clean fuel. It just isn't.